fourth grade. Today is day number two of our optical illusion art. We have been talking about pattern and lines uh, so far this school year. So last time I saw you, we traced our squares. We made our straight lines in the background. We need to fill in our squares or our diamonds. Uh, today with another set of lines. So you're going to need your ruler and a pencil again. I'm using Sharpie so you can see. And with your ruler, hold it tight with one hand and with your other hand, push against the ruler. You're going to draw a line that starts from one side of your shape to the other. Notice these lines are drawn horizontally, which means sideways. All right, I'm going from one side to the other. in these shapes. Notice my lines for my shapes are a little closer together and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make each of the lines about the same width uh, in distance uh, from each other so they look uniform which means about the same. Um, you're going to do the same thing over here in your other shape. One side to the other. When you get done with this, you're going to need crayons. If you're at school, if you're at home, you can use crayons, markers, colored pencils, whatever you have available. All right, you're going to need two colors. Any two colors you want doesn't matter to me. I'm going to do mine with markers just because I think it will show up better on the video. Um, you're going to do two colors though. Okay, and with these colors, we're going to make sure we're doing a pattern. Let's start off with doing our shapes today. We're only going to do our shapes with our pattern, and then next time I see you, we will finish the background. So, the best way to do this so that your artwork stays nice and neat is trace first, then color in. I'm doing an AB pattern. So I'm going to do, for my colors, green, purple, green, purple, green, purple. Okay, so whatever way you want to do it, I, to save myself from switching back and forth to the markers, as long as it doesn't confuse you, you could do all of one color first and then the other. Just be careful that you don't accidentally mess up your pattern. Okay, so I'll do all of my greens. And then I'll do my purples. Let's pretend I'm done with my greens. Then I would go in with my purples. And I would do this the same way in my other diamond. Okay? Hide the paper when you color. This should not take you two seconds to do if you're really taking your time and making it look nice. Okay? So I'm just going to finish green, purple, green, purple, green, purple, all the way down until this box is done. And then the same thing with the second box. Okay? Keep up the good work, fourth grade. Talk to you later.